This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Hey guys, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 634 Tuesdays. We've been talking about professional wrestling. I am Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, with a, a wild crew with us tonight. Bobby, you're dead. <laughs> Bobby, you're dead. Hey guys, <laughs> Chris LaRusso is back, you guys. I'm going to beat you within an inch of your life. <laughs> Jeez. Already with the be nothing threats. but a greasy like smear on the coma. pavement. Wow, Chris LaRusso. 2017 Ring of Honor top prospect. I and he's everywhere. He's everywhere. Thank I you. Rooted for thank him you. In that tournament. What's that? I rooted for him in that tournament. Thank, thank you. you. Won't, thank you. It won't I, save you I now. Still, I it still. won't save you now. I still do not like what's his name that won it. Josh the Goods <laughs> to Woods. This, to the yeah. I, to this day. He's like one of my. Least I'm not gonna argue. Sense. I'm not gonna argue. Like. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm way better. Yeah, you are. No offense, Josh, if you happen to be listening, but <laughs> <laughs> the last but, time I saw you, you kicked me in the gonna, temple, but, you know, hey, yeah, it's there's whatever. that too. The, the, the I'm going to get an entire stable of wrestlers after me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby F. J. Town, making friends from Johnstown, PA, Flood Town, USA. And make sure you mark yourself safe on Facebook, please, because uh, especially this week, there's a, I'm worried about you. <laughs> We don't have to do that in Johnstown. We all know we have lungs for gills for lungs. Go, what? <laughs> what did you say? We have, we have lungs. We have lungs for gills and gills for lungs. Every every home in Johnstown has equipped with the uh, up balloons, so that if the floods yeah, get they, too they, bad, ah, you just release them. And yeah, I got gotcha. flotation device. That's Mad Mike from Poughkeepsie, New York. He's the only one here uh, on the Mayhem roster with a future endeavor letter from the WWE. Still technically true. Still technically true. Other, yes. Other things about employment are now true, but we won't get into that on air. Wow. I'm the, I don't sort. I don't like to talk about myself. No. <laughs> no. Of course not. That's not what's. That's that's why you're not. A, you know. That's that's why you're on like three podcasts every week. But uh, <laughs> you know, you're on three podcasts too, sir. Three I, podcasts. How many? And you're on way more than that. Uh, yeah, right, on, I am. He's kinda, on way more. I, than three. Yeah, I'm like trying to cut down. Four. I'm trying to cut Sorg down. Was on three podcasts today. Uh, no, this is only my second today. Too bad he's only on episode five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> episode five. Like call back to earlier, which nobody will get because that wasn't on the Yeah, day. that wasn't on the air record or anything. <laughs> also with us, the Riz uh, from uh, the wonderful town of Monroe. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about an introduction and from Monroe. Wow. Yeah. From Thanks Zombie for... Town, USA, Thanks, Monroeville, no, no, PA. No, 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 man, no man, you Monroeville. don't get a second turn. I don't get a second turn. I know turn. how you feel about Monroeville. You know what? I'm the Stop. host and I have the mute button so I can do whatever I want. Why are you going to mute me, Sorg? What? This has turned into around this the horn. Is, I have so much th- <laughs> so much stuff to promote. We have so much stuff to promote. We do. Why you gotta mute me, Sorg? We do. There's a lot going on, including you guys can check out everything going on at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. That's where you can find links to all the great shows that we do. Wrestling Mayhem Show. The I want to say Midweek War. Uh, Mayhem Underground. <laughs> uh, ra- raw Wrap Up and the Indie Mayhem Show. And you guys got an extra episode of the Indie Mayhem Show because there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, Team Storm just launched on Monday, uh, and we had a, a great time with them last Wednesday. Uh, and and you can uh, follow us and email us and and uh, everything else uh, at the email address at Good Times. Thank you, Good Times at Wrestling Man Show. Chris, I have to Good Times at Wrestling Man Show dot com. I have to, I have to, Chris. It's not often we get a guest that's been on here enough <laughs> to get the good times gag. Like mostly, I just get a confused look from the couch. No, I I'm in. <laughs> He's uh, pretty much a host. I mean, now. wait, is 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 Chris is the co host now? Oh, yeah. he's he's definitely yeah. hit the okay. co-host mark. I think I think last time we were talking so, about so uh, that that just means no more special treatment. 
That's but you, you guys have been treating me with kid gloves since I at this point. What the hell? Yeah. That, that, that's also that's also <laughs> when we say Bobby that brought out, brought out the puppets. You know, it's it, 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 that's how we treat our guests. Yeah. But now you're now you're an official host. Also, we, your family. So we, we shit on you. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Thanks. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. Also, also, once in a while when there's like a WWE show in town and mm-hmm. we're like in the crowd and we're just like, hey, if you see a mayhem or you can chop them, you're now inclu- <laughs> you're now included on that. Try it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking try it. Anybody. Take your best shot. Welcome. All right? Welcome to the club. It's a time honored tradition in podcasting. I, I chop Riz all the time. Ask him. <laughs> while i'm driving to while he's driving to... <laughs> that's not safe that's definitely not yeah, safe don't don't, don't anyways you can also drop us a line to 412-206-wms0 or uh you can <laughs> you can uh tweet us <laughs> at mayhem <laughs> show a lot of interaction going on there mad mike live tweets uh lucha underground i'm usually up during raw and who knows what else is going on there and of course we're here every tuesday at 9 p.m eastern time on Facebook Live, make sure you follow our Facebook page for Wrestling Mayhem Show and join us in the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group where a lot of great discussion is happening as well. Don't and be mean. what's that? Don't be mean though. Don't be mean. Don't be yes, don't be mean. Riz has the uh the ban hammer and he's not <sighs> afraid to use uh, it. It's a, it's it, it's already swung. Yes. We're only it will swing again. We're all Bless only allowed style. to be mean to each other on the show. And yeah. that's it. <laughs> Bless Fuck the holy band grenade. Hey, holy brand. Yes. <laughs> um, also, thank you to our, pay, our not our pay, uh, not that part yet. Our streaming partner, the four hundred five media dot com, that uh, carries us every every day at nine p.m. Pacific time, midnight Eastern, so you can fall asleep to the sweet sounds of mayhem. Also, thank you to oh, our wow. Patreon supporters, <laughs> Patreon dot com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Our five dollar Patreon supporters have been getting some special stuff, including a lightning round Q and A extra bit of interview with Team Storm. Um that had some interesting revelations, as did the regular interview as well. Other extra content, um, even uh, we are going to be doing a recording for uh, Hardcore Memories, and uh, people at the Pocket Club five dollar level will have access to a live stream for that recording. Um, that is only for the five dollar and up Pocket Club on Patreon. So thank you to our Patreon supporters, including the fan of the show one dollar level, Bo Diggity. Woo! Ed Burke, Tina Keys, Bobby F. J. Town, the Matthew and Jennifer Carlin's Foundation for Podcast Betterment, and at the Pocket Club five dollar level, Carlin's. the Pocket five, <laughs> Club five dollar level, <laughs> Occupy Pro Wrestling, Christopher Bishop, uh, Bradley Ruthers, I hate him, <laughs> Doc Remedy, and Dave Potter of the Tiny Shutter Podcast, and our friend at the Pizza Club ten dollar level, Billy F. and Johnson. Thank you. You guys can be part of the show and literally help keep the lights on here in the Mayhem Studio at Patreon.com. Slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Let's get into some wrestling, shall we? Sorg, Sorg hold on. Before um, Alex Miller just dropped a comment in the chat room, I have to address. Um, he asks if he and Cars meet each other at NXT Takeover War Games, they can chop each other. I say wholeheartedly, absolutely, fucking yes, and also record it and send it to us. Absolutely, all these things, all these yes. things. Um, please we encourage all of our mayhemers to incite mild violence on each other Uh, try to make it hurt hurt. mild violence I'm just saying try no bleeding no no bleeding no no trips to the hospital nope Nope. Uh, we don't condone that much violence Uh, but chopping chopping (laughs) is okay I love when he Bobby I just got a blessing to chop you then so uh, I'll see you at proving ground (laughs) <laughs> Bobby agrees. Why not? But I Bobby, be, he is now the host of the show. In the face. He's now a host of the show, so you can so chop, I can him, chop back. him back. With a yeah, check. There you go. Be my guest. I'll give you the first oh, crack. Bobby, Bobby, chop him with the puppet. Like Andre the Giant. Oh. <laughs> chop him with each puppet, Bobby. <laughs> oh my god, Carlos has a horn. Did you see what did you see what bad luck Fale did to Daryl? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no! But, but, but <laughs> they're living creatures. I love this. Soon, 
All right, get to the news before this gets out. This All gets right, Hell in a hand. Cell is this weekend. Uh, some of us will be occupied with a luchador show literally across the street from the studio. Lucha Fiesta. Lucha Fiesta. Lucha, LuchaPittsburgh.com. Check it out. Uh, come on down. And, uh, and hey, afterwards, come over and hang out in the studio. We'll watch the rest of Hell in a Cell. Why not? Damn, that Why not? Announcement here. As soon as I tear down, uh, we'll be over here watching Hell in a Cell. Easiest setup to tear down of your life. <laughs> Well, I yeah, at least in transport, right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, just saves a lot on gas. Yeah, yeah. Just make sure you don't get hit by the train as I'm carrying my computer across the street, and we're good. Uh, but anyway, so Hell in a Cell is this weekend, and hey, there's some Hell in a Cell matches, and hey, Mick Foley's involved. I, you know what? It's all right. Okay. It's it's fine. It's fine. What, uh, does, he, what does he add? I. I I, I think I, I nostalgia. I, I think yeah. There's the nostalgia yeah. factor. It's been 20 years, and I'm sure they're going to plug his new special that they filmed here at Mr. Small's Theater uh, that he did in town a, a few months ago, right? Have to try to get Roman, Roman over somehow. It, well, I don't think that's going to have any. Okay. No, it, it will not help at all because none of these people have had had any interactions with Roman. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Elias. If it was in Pittsburgh. If it was in Pittsburgh and it happened to be a 20th anniversary of it, okay, sure, I get that. Mm-hmm. But it's in, like, Texas. Mm-hmm. But it's still 20. I mean, the most famous Hell in a Cell match in history is The Undertaker and Mankind. So mm-hmm. I, I yeah. do, I get in that regard that it is, I mean, I mean, so even though Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker was first, right. I think when most people think of the Hell in a Cell match, they think of Mankind and The Undertaker and the and the fall off the top of the cell and then the fall through the uh through the cage so okay. i i mean in, if that's what they're gonna do 20 years of hell in the cell um and uh they've already got the undertaker doing something else right now uh mankind mick foley seems like the hello no, sorry um he should probably answer be- that bobby answer the phone mick foley should referee the Jeff Hardy, Randy Orton match then, because that's the match where someone is going to fly off that cell. Yeah, like, Braun, but it, Braun or Roman ooh, are not doing that bump. See, wait, I disagree because I think Braun and Roman would probably be the one with the bigger stunt. I think, I, I think if they're if they're if someone's going to do a stunt, it's going to be that match. I think, you know, um I don't even think that should be a hell in a cell match though. But uh you know, Braun's been known. I mean, Braun's been kind of associated with very spectacular uh, stunts and moments. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, all the car crashes, all the you know, all that stuff. He's kind of getting a reputation for you know superhuman acts of strength. He almost and, and killed whatnot. a small Asian man last night. Well, you know, <laughs> but I mean, I could see something where he, he goes through the cage. I could see you know. Oh no, they're never doing that spot again. You know. I, I'd almost guarantee they're never doing Yeah, that cage is a lot higher than it used to be. But then again, yeah, that's, then that's again, so they wild. are jumping off the cage. So yeah, yeah. that's much yeah, higher. But the, only, the only people who have done who have done the jump off the cage are Shane McMahon and Jeff Hardy. And I'm pretty sure they're both legally insane. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Kevin Owens. Right. Kevin Owens was just off the steel cage, though. Uh, still a crazy bump. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, still, it's a crazy bump, but that, that cell... That shit's high. Do you think that they would do something? Cr- I mean, I, this is a kind of a lost Hell in a Cell, but do you remember there was a Hell in a Cell where Rikishi went off the yeah, cell into, into the earlier. back of a truck? Like, mm-hmm. Yeah. You yeah. Know, I could, a yeah. I could see some ridiculous thing off into an ambulance or off into, you know, uh, mm-hmm. uh, I, I, I could see something like that. There was one several years ago that I think must have involved CM Punk because Paul Heyman came with a scissor lift. Um, oh, Punk, yeah. Punk came right back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I think the shield was a part of yeah. that as well. Um, so, like, I mean, you know, it's not without possibility. But nobody jumped off. They yeah. they fought on top, and that was about it. Um, so, yeah, like, Braun and Roman would probably fight on top of the cell. I could see that, absolutely. Mm-hmm. But I don't see either of them going off. Like, maybe off the side. Yeah, and, but, and I think but, that's what... But this Hell in a Cell pay-per-view is solely... So that Jeff Hardy can jump off that mother. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, and I think Tina Tina's alluding to that with that uh Dean and Seth 
um, but I just mashed the gara as death. Um, they did suedo, yes. sedo, uh, suedo, suedo. Oh, Take geez. a deep breath. Suedo. Try it again. <sighs> Tribute to that <laughs> uh, and, and theirs. And I think they just went off, they went off the side of it, um, of, of yeah. the bigger cage. So Yeah, I could see Braun and Roman doing that. Mm -hmm. But was Jeff Hardy on an early audition for Avatar, the sequel tonight? Why are you watching SmackDown right now? No, earlier tonight. Oh, it was earlier. Well, I haven't seen the, the latest one, I but I'm not show, surprised I with the way like it goes. I feel like Jeff time. Hardy's been on an audition for an for his own television show in his mind. And they keep asking for something different. Mm. That's called a dream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, that's pretty much what I mean. Yeah. A drug induced coma. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Um, but anyways, so we are going to have uh, Braun and Roman. Is this is this Braun's final? He's finally going to get it this time. <laughs> no, Mike says no. No, I, don't, I mean, not I, even close. I, I think that even though Braun is one of the you know one of the uh, stars they've actually made in the past you know year and a half, two years, and I, and I and I think that he's going to to stay near the top. For uh, for the foreseeable future, I don't think he becomes the uh, he does not become the man at Hell in a Cell. No, hmm. unless it's like completely like cheating bullshit stuff. They've gone this. Whatever. They went this like, far to get it on Roman. Mm -hmm. Like I I think the best I can see is a double count, double knockout or like, something. Like, yeah, no, not not even a double knockout. Like Foley gets knocked out. Another ref comes down, maybe Baron Corbin, in a ref the shirt. Dogs of War come out, and we see a and we see a double pin. I could see something like that. Okay. Uh, well, and also we are going to get Randy Orton and Jeff Hardy. Jeff's going to die on that cage. Jeff's going to die. He, Jeff, Jeff stated very explicitly that he wanted to wrestle in a Hell in a Cell and had not yet. So mm -hmm. it's happening. We'll see mm -hmm. how that goes. He's going to die. Do you think that opens the He's show? He's going to get a jetpack. Just go up in the air and just drop. <laughs> Jeez. Do you think that opens the show? Uh, yeah. It could. Yeah. It very well could. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. I, that doesn't open the show. No? Um, they've, no they've, mix, they, they've, mixed tag. But they've, mixed uh, tag the they've mm -hmm. sandwiched, you know, to start the show and end the show. What Since Hell in a Cell became its own pay-per-view, mm -hmm. they've started with a Hell in a Cell before. So I don't think it's unheard of, but I'm just wondering if that – Especially if Hardy does something absolutely crazy. Uh, yeah, but if, but if you start off with that and Hardy does something crazy, you'll never be able to follow. Yeah, you can't top it. Now. Yeah, at that point. Yeah, I think there's going to be a lot cool. of unannounced matches popping up. I, I think how many are announced? Just do the cells back to back. That way, you don't have to lift it again. There's seven. Yeah, there's there's seven matches announced. Yeah. So he probably something on the pre-show. Maybe get to nine. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the first one's on the pre-show. We've been getting as many as like thirteen matches announced for these shows lately between the the pre-shows. Now is that thirteen for the bigger shows like summer? Like summer? No, no. We're talking like yeah. We, well, SummerSlam, of course. Mm -hmm. But also everything's four hours plus the two-hour pre-show now. Well, SummerSlam was almost. SummerSlam was. Um, actually, yeah, it was about four. Yeah. I was I was thinking it was five, but no. It, uh, WrestleMania was five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, WrestleMania yeah, was WrestleMania a five dollar show. So also, if you count the pre-show. Also in <laughs> here we have, and I know, I know Alex Miller out there, uh, out in Cali, uh, is is keeps asking why is AJ and Samoa Joe not in the cage? I, I well, one, I think they just have a lot more they're going to do with that. Yeah, this, I don't think we've seen the end of that. This this is the middle of the three match arc, you know. It's so, it's not even an ODQ match. Yeah, it's not even an ODQ, especially after the last one being a DQ. Um, so I, I wonder what they're going to have planned at, I guess, Survivor Series at this point. That should have been hell in a cell. Yeah. Well, you could have something at the Super House Showdown, too. Yeah, you could. You could, because but... They're, they're, not they're not booked for it. Uh, yeah, yet. Well, the only, the only pre two people that are booked right now are Undertaker and... No. They've booked, they've booked not, more than that. They've that is not true that. at all. Yeah. No? No. Taker and Triple H, you have... The Shield, Shield Six Man. Shield versus Bacon Mac and Cheese. <laughs> um, wait, okay, that, wait, wait, roll okay, back, roll back. Okay, okay, that made no, me laugh. Ro no, roll I, back. Why I, do we call him bacon you, mac and I cheese? I think you got it. I think you got it right away. You got it right away. Okay, yeah. but I, yeah, I, it, not it everybody listens to raw wrap up. Once you know who I'm talking about, it don't need a lot of explanation. Okay, <laughs> bacon mac and cheese. That's what I've been calling them. Um, but you have 
Ronda and the Bellas versus the Riot Squad. You have um, yeah, they do. Which is going to say oh, the event for Revolution. Yeah, yes, it is. <laughs> Apparently, uh, there's a, there's another match too. Oh, Styles to and Joe that. are announced for that match. Oh, there you go. Oh, perfect. And Miz versus Brian winner gets a WWE title shot. Ooh. Ooh. That's the other one I knew. And Becky and Charlotte are also already booked for it. The uh, even greatest Royal Rumble. New Day against the Bar. By the way, the Bar will be here in Pittsburgh next Saturday. So before you go to IWC's uh, uh, White Oak show, um, swing out the Robinson Ooh. and get your autograph uh, with uh, and picture with those guys. Um, let's see. Yeah. Oh, say, Oscar Naomi versus Os- the Iconics. Yeah. Iconics. Which would be hometown for the Iconics. Or yeah, home, which home, means they're home. definitely going to lose. Home country. Oh, um, Murphy, Murphy and uh, Cedric. Oh, Murphy and Cedric, that's right. That's yeah, right. This actually looks like a fun show. <laughs> that looks like a yeah, really good show. i got to be honest. Mm-hmm. They, uh, I, I've noticed, and maybe this is this is going to take us down a separate topic. We can shelve it for later, but WWE's really gone all in, no offense, no, uh, <laughs> on um, on these international shows. Mm-hmm. They seem to, to, to be... These big international shows, Greatest Royal Rumble, you know, uh, this one coming up in Australia. Um, and I think there's another one like in England or something in the works. And I've, there's I've, another one that's Saudi probably Arabia. that. Yeah, there's probably something happening a week after Evolution. So, I mean, there's uh, but but the international these these super shows internationally where they're going for those big crowds, mm-hmm. you know, not not just. You know, because because they internationally tour all the time, and and you know when they go to Japan or when they go to the Middle East, they in the past they do you know good business, but now they're going for those giant arenas, like you know they're WrestleMania size draws. They're forty thousand, sixty thousand. They're going for these huge houses internationally, and it's just it's interesting because that's never been really their mo. The biggest show I think internationally before they started doing things like that was. When they did SummerSlam and Wembley, mm-hmm. and but, uh, they did the, I think the first big one after that was the Beast in the East. The but that was Tokyo Sumo Dome Hall. Show. Sumo Hall's not that big. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was it was a it was a, a well promoted show, and it was but like Sumo Hall Hall is not like the Tokyo Dome. No, and they've know? done Tokyo Dome. Like they they've done they've done so they're still they they're doing shows in Tokyo Dome. Have been. I have a I have I have a world tour tape from like ninety two ninety one mm-hmm. where it's like like Hogan and DiBiase, right? Mm-hmm. So, so they're doing. I don't know about this big of arena, but they're doing bigger arena shows. Like they'll do that India show that had like what was it, Triple H and Jinder, uh, and that was going to draw. I mm-hmm. mean, well over twenty thousand. It was a big show, mm-hmm. but it's still the. So, so they're already doing this is a these. soccer arena. They're doing this in, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a. I mean, mm-hmm. those are huge venues. I think it's like a sixty-seven thousand seat venue, something like that. I mean, I mean, there's that's. I thought I remember hearing that somewhere. But now there's like, 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 like Bradley's talking about in the chat, like that they they were pushing the big October pay per views so much last night. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. the thing. Like now we're so now you're watching Raw, and <laughs> you're you're, yeah. I mean, Raw is an infomercial for the next pay per view, right? Like just let's just take that context, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and SmackDown, and and so much you're getting that. You know, hey, make sure you tune in for Hell in a Cell this weekend and this show that we're we're already plugging with mm-hmm. Taker and Triple H uh, 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 in Australia mm-hmm. and this this Women's Evolution show. Like you're putting over three big shows yeah, all true. at yeah. once. Yeah, you're 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 kind of well with three hours you can afford to. It isn't like it, you. It isn't like you yeah. only have an hour of TV and you and all you got to do is dedicate that hour to the next live event or the next pay-per-view yeah. you've got three hours so you can a, probably afford to to split your attention uh you, you can afford to split your attention a little bit it's a real problem wcw had like towards the end because they kept doing more like clash of champion shows mm-hmm. and they would plug the clash of champion shows but at the same time they would also have to plug pay-per-views Three. and plug like nitros and stuff and it's just like it gets to be too much where you wonder which matches matter and which matches don't because if becky and charlotte really are like fighting at the super showdown too so they're fighting three pay-per-views within what six weeks but they fight every week on monday night raw too and and yeah but not in official title matches these are presumably all title matches 
Sometimes they fight in title matches. And sometimes, and the other thing is, these international shows are starting to have consequence. Like mm-hmm. the, the, these are things that they're not they're not glorified house shows. They're they're having an effect on their TV product. Mm-hmm. And now you know, um, you know, Miz and Brian's going to uh, probably go off into a title shot, and there'll be an angle that comes from that. Um, th- that uh, the uh, greatest Royal Rumble. You know, there was a that was a Brock match they were building up, mm-hmm. and and that was you know added to the story uh, all the way up until SummerSlam. So they're definitely th- these shows matter, but and they matter a lot more than international shows ever did in the past. So mm-hmm. I don't know if that's you know that they feel the network has now you know allowed them to to air all this stuff. They now don't have to worry about people not buying it or not seeing it or something like that, and that, and that they have the freedom to. Uh, to make these shows matter a lot more. Absolutely. I, w- I want to talk a little bit more about Hell in a Cell and what's oh, coming sorry. up here. But in the meantime, I we want to get a shout out there. to what's that, Riz? We went on a late, nice little route. I, it was, yeah, that was a nice fault. route to it. That was my fault. Yeah. I'm sorry. That, no, no, no. It was, no. It, was a good, it was a good roundabout yeah, that there. Good. That was um, the scenic tour of Hell. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. But in the meantime, Through Australia. If you want to check out a little bit more, <laughs> maybe a local, or maybe not WrestleMania. Actually, very decidedly not WrestleMania. Uh, check out IndieWrestling.us. <laughs> that was the worst segue ever. I'm sorry. How dare you? <laughs> I'm featured on that site. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. A good bit, actually. US. It ain't WrestleMania. <laughs> Which means now give us money, <laughs> more wrestling, <laughs> and we got even more of the indie wrestling network. Over forty hours of content now uh, going on over there at www.indywrestling.network or get the link at indywrestling.us. Uh, we have a lot of stuff there, including every Rise show up until this weekend uh, uh, from February you know, February through August is all up there for you to check out on that trial. We have Duke and Doe's hardcore memories. They just t- started talking about Raven this week. We're going to be in there filming it more episodes. There's a nice clip out there about how uh, uh, Kimono Wanalea really wanted them to get the v- VHSs. And top and dance atop the ECW. And yeah, arena. yeah. Yeah, there was a discussion about that. There was a pretty good discussion <laughs> about that. Uh, so go check that out. And even some... I, I Thank you, Sassy Steffi was uh, retweeting our, our links recently. Uh, we, we had a uh, matchup of uh, her and uh, Madison, Madison Rain. Uh, ah. Lex, the old Lexi Lane uh, from like 10 years ago. And I know she got a kick out of seeing something, uh, you know, an old match like that going on. Uh, I can say on Shirley Doe. That had and to be Duke crime, Davis. right? That had to be that crime. That was PWO, yeah. Oh, wow. It yeah. was like one of the first, we have like the first episodes of pri- Pro Wrestling Ohio oh, up there. Wow. Like this is like M Dog, Matt Cross. This is Johnny Gargano. Josh Prohibition. Josh Prohibition okay. when he had hair. Uh, oh, wait, no, no. That was the IWC match I might have posted, actually. Well, no, he had the ball look going on, you know. Um, but uh, and uh, who else popped up on there? There was a lot of a lot of people uh, popping up. But um, no, it, it's a lot of good stuff and a lot of fun because it is kind of it was television product they were doing mm-hmm. ten years ago. And there's a lot of people like Charlie Gargano that popped up out of that. And of course, a lot of the prime cuts are available on our video on demand. Also, check out the latest Rise Wrestling from this weekend. A fantastic show. Really good show. Really good show. Uh, with our friends uh, uh, Ron Mathis and Bruce Gray, I believe debuting for the promotion uh, down there. They took our friends the main event all over the arena, the Stronghold Arena there. Uh, so you get you get an idea for how big that place is with the clip that we posted on our YouTube page for IndieWrestling.us. Go check it out, and still, if you sign up for our newsletter, you'll get a free digital download on our old system. Uh, so go check it out. Rise Wrestling, IWC. Prime, not pr- yeah, Prime Wrestling actually, yes, uh, Premier Championship Wrestling, and so much more. And of course, uh, indie wrestling. We are uh, looks like we are going to be filming the Lucha Fiesta show this weekend as well. So look for details on how you'll be able to watch that um, after this Sunday. Uh, so going to have a lot of fun there. Go check out everything. Support indie wrestling over at indiewrestling.us and look up uh, some of Chris Larusso's matches as well. Hi. We actually posted your match with um, um, Colin Delaney from oh, yeah. from June on our YouTube and our Facebook from the, page. Uh, from the uh, Black Diamond. The rematch. The, the rematch. Yes, because me and Colin uh, originally happened at Ring of Honor. Oh. Yeah, so it was the, the one at Black Diamond was the, was the second. And uh, hoping there'll be a rubber match at some point. 
uh, that was, he's a hell of a talent and, uh, uh, you know, I had a lot of fun wrestling him both at, uh, stage AE and at black diamond wrestling Two so. very different venues, very different <laughs> venues. And I will say no more. And you were, you were also a part, we talked about it a little bit of length last, last week, but you were also part of the world's largest battle Royal. <laughs> Just real quick before we get back to the WWE talk, what was it like to be in, in, um, well, one of three rings with 108 other people. There, there was a moment there where <sighs> I got to be careful how I word this. Um, thank God I haven't been drinking today. Uh, when I'm when I'm seeing just people keep coming and mm-hmm. keep coming and keep coming and I'm just like, and then I see Sean Phoenix climb the the Tower of Terror, and is sitting up there basically treed, uh, for you know while while people continue to get into the ring, and I suddenly just like envision not just the the you know will these rings hold i'm suddenly wondering about the structural integrity of the building mm-hmm. is the is the floor going to collapse and just swallow us all is there is the tower going to stay to you know what's going to happen especially cuz it was one thing when you had all those bodies yeah there it is it, it was one thing when you have all those bodies just standing in the ring and then someone decides to ring the bell and all of a sudden you know a 100 plus bodies start brawling and it, it got scary for a minute. There's just just so many people, um, but it was it, it was impressive to be a part of. It was impressive that there were no injuries, and mm-hmm. that was one thing that I was really concerned about when um, when as, as sort of going over the logistics of this was just God. How are we going to do this and no one gets hurt? Mm-hmm. And and to to my knowledge, as we saw one person just get thrown from one ring body surf to the other <laughs> mm. and there goes sean and there goes sean <laughs> although sean phoenix i don't think can die i, I, yeah, I think yeah, like yeah. i think actually if he does die he will just burst into flames and be reborn um and it was like god damn it that's scary uh because like that could have ended disastrously oh yeah you don't know on people yeah you don't know if those yahoos are gonna catch you or not i, I like, understand he turned ready to do his jump and nobody was ready for nobody him. was yeah. well yeah, uh, that that like... happened to me in a multi-ring battle royal once where i got tossed and it was like no no one there to catch you mm. god be with like, you Ru- justin dash cam footage <laughs> <laughs> jesus take the wheel so Jeez. All right, let's roll it back to Hell in a Cell because there's still other things happening this weekend. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, hold on. I, 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 I'm looking for... I think there's some some conflicts with the Seahawks games, Tina says, for the pay-per-view this weekend. Se- Seahawks. <laughs> the Seahawks. Seahawks? The Seahawks. <laughs> the Seahawks. I thought you said Seahawks. They're the only team in football allowed to have a 12th person. That's... I don't. I don't understand your your sports ball references. It's, it's here. okay. It's actually a very good sports ball joke. So. Guys, the Bellas are wrestling. Yeah. No. Hey, Wait, Brie Bella. Hell in the cell. Brie and Brian are going to be uh, taking on Miz and Maurice. They finally got out of Westworld. What? <laughs> don't you remember total the Bellas? The Westworld thing was on at Sunday night at nine. Same time as West moving on. No one, no one, no one, no one acknowledged he spoke. No one acknowledged he spoke. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So <laughs> that's Peter happening. Um, man, Thank Daniel so Bryan. Kim, Kim, what's that? Nikki isn't wrestling though. No, Nikki isn't. Nikki's wrestling okay. at the Australian show, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, they both are. They both are in a and multi-woman. I, I believe them and them and Ronda are taking on the Riot Squad. Okay. Yeah, setting up the main event for Evolution. The really? Probably. Oh, you think it's going to be Ronda and Nikki? Nikki, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's been the word going around. Uh, but uh, let's see. We also have Charlotte and Becky. Mm-hmm. I. That's actually going to be pretty damn good. There that's was the there, one of the best matches. Be- Becky is the good guy, right? <laughs> like, yeah, she really she's is. So sympathetic. Like, yeah, and I and really I know is. it's supposed to be like. The, the heel is supposed to believe they're right and everything, but it's just like, I'm with you on this. It also, She's right. it also doesn't help that every time Charlotte goes to cut a face promo, she cuts a heel promo. Charlotte's a natural. She cuts she? a flare promo. 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Heel promo. <laughs> oh, okay. So because because Becky is the yo, you came from diamond rings and Rolexes and da 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 da, da and I did and I made this. Like uh, there was a tweet with a picture of her getting ready today and 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 everything. And I'm just like, yeah, go Becky, right? Mm-hmm. Like that. She's the more identifiable one, I think, out of this. It's also hard because the I think in an in a previous era. When you were making a turn like this, you could have gotten a little bit more intense with the violence. I think that, you know, the worst mm-hmm. thing Becky did to her was was beat her up. It was, yeah. no, it was no worse than any match or anything. Whereas, she, and I'm not suggesting that this was preferable. I'm saying in prior eras, if, you know, and, and again, if this is, you know, we're, we're going to treat women's wrestling the same way we treat men's wrestling. Mm-hmm. When someone would turn, you know, the violence could get ratchet it up you could get color you could get Mm. you know you could do a lot of things to make somebody much more sympathetic Uh, she needs to go too far and that's the thing is it doesn't feel like she's good so far it feels very justified Mm -hmm. that this is a person who has been wronged who has been pushed to the limit and whose reactions are completely understandable Mm -hmm. completely proportional and not uh and, and and nothing that would make you go like you know, all right, enough is enough. Mm-hmm, and, mm-hmm. and I think that not just, through you. not just, and again, yeah, it, it, we're now living in an era where the worst thing you can say is screw you. Mm-hmm. That's the worst thing we can say. That's a, uh, that's the worst thing you can do. That's the worst thing you, you can't really say. And, and that's the thing is that Becky hasn't gone too far as far as what she could talk about either. Mm-hmm. I mean, there is a lot of dark stuff you could bring up about Ric Flair. That she could have mm-hmm. that she could have brought up about, you know, Charlotte's father, and hasn't gone that route mm-hmm. because we're not we're not going to touch Rick that stuff. Tried to kiss her one time. Rick did kiss her one time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's he right. Yeah, he did. He did kiss her. That's, that's right. right. Yeah. yeah. That's and, right. He did. Um, and I'm sure that there's a lot of stuff, and and they've just because of uh, of you know the way wrestling is these days. And again, I'm not suggesting we should go back to cutting our heads off and and you know shortening our lives it's, it's a little to, extreme. to well i mean you saw how some people got juice in in ecw and mm-hmm. and, and you know and, 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 and you know like that i'm not suggesting that wrestling was it was better for that we're smarter uh, not smarter we're just i think uh more we're cognizant civilized. we're more cognizant of the dangers that things like that posed and um but we have lost, you know, some some tools to get sympathy, and now in a PG era, what's the worst thing you can do to to somebody? I, I mean, you can toss them in a porta potty. Yeah. That, oh wait, that guy was the face. But you know, you know, and so I just think that that to make people want to boo Becky and cheer Char- Charlotte, it's just like. You're right. I, I, to me, Becky is is a sympathetic figure. Mm-hmm. Charlotte is a at this point how many seven time champ? Yep. Eight, seven or eight? She's, she's mm-hmm. tied Trish Stratus. Okay, she is a seven time champion, and Becky has been struggling and fighting and clawing to get to where she's at to even be considered a challenger for the belt. Mm-hmm. They they really are analogs for like Roman and Finn, very much. Yeah, mm-hmm. like hey. you like you saw that Roman and Finn match on Raw after SummerSlam, mm-hmm. and then you see Becky and Charlotte. It's the exact same thing. It's the exact same thing, basically. Yeah, and it's and it's hard to to in, in the PG era to get people to sympathize and empathize with Roman Reigns. Oh, you mean the unstoppable superhuman Samoan who <laughs> you know. Uh, Never, who, who never has a hair out of place and who bullets bounce off his chest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he does have nice hair. I, I, that's, that's the thing, he, he's a little too perfect, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Like, he really should be the bad guy. Like, he should be the I'm better than you guy. And I think that, especially wrestling fans today, want their. But, but this is the thing Vince has always found the, uh, you know, Vince admires. Superhumans, mm-hmm. and you notice that Vince's top babyface is always superhuman. Mm-hmm. Vince mm-hmm. has always built himself, whether it was Hogan, Austin, Rock, Cena. Vince has always, and because I think that and th- this is true of anybody, um, 
cr- people who are, you know, bookers, creative writers, whatever you want to see, they, they often will project well, who, whoever their top guy is. They project a little bit of themselves into. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I think Paul Heyman had said that Raven was sort of the, you know, that Paul Heyman saw a lot of himself in Raven and how Raven viewed the world and whatnot. Um, and that, you know, Vince, when, you know, Vince saw himself as like, uh, the Patriot Lex Luger, like that would, you know, that's Mm -hmm. kind of how he projected. And I think that, you know, Vince likes and admires personalities like that, superhumans. So, um, but I don't think the fans do, at least not, not many. There's also, there's also different ways of being superhuman. Mm -hmm. Like, Roman is superhuman in the traditional, like, Superman type of way. Mm-hmm. Whereas Finn Balor is superhuman. Like, they keep saying he's an extraordinary man who does extraordinary things. He's more of a Batman. Like, I think that... And I've always thought that Finn Balor, that that you could have an analogy. If, if Roman Reigns was Superman, Finn Balor could be Batman. That I, you could have... I don't know. Finn Balor is almost more like the Hulk. You know, when well, he no, becomes the demon, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because he yeah. becomes a demon, he becomes unstoppable. Mm-hmm. But I've, I've always felt that if, if you if we take the demon aspect out of it, you could still push Finn Balor as he's just a man. He just is more skilled and uh, more determined that he can stand among superhumans and See, hold I, his I own. Think that's more, I think that's more Rollins. Like if if we're trying to draw an analog, hmm. I think that's what okay. I, I could see that as well. Mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. I mean, but I've always felt that you know, looking at it, you can have your Superman, but I think the W with the WWEs, they need to push their Batman too. To to make myself a complete comic book nerd right now, uh, <laughs> and we but, don't really have a well, Joker well, or well, or Lex Luthor or or anything like that, right? Uh, like we don't have any super bad guys anymore. No, a Brock. Yeah. Yeah, Brock, Brock, I mean, I mean, yeah. Brock, sort of, and and Brock's gone. Mm-hmm. Oh, Heyman's like R- Riz, you seem to yeah, but, take, but Brock oh, only shows up for the annual issues anyway. Yeah, <laughs> Riz, yeah, the, the the big crossover events. Uh, yeah. Riz, you, yeah. you you had some rejection there. Oh no, 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 I'm trying to think of if we do have any super villains, and the one that pops into my head recently is. What Samoa Joe's doing right now? Mm-hmm. Wendy like, is my favorite thing on SmackDown. Yeah, like the, the the entire Wendy, AJ Styles, uh, Samoa Joe angle. They just did a whole thing where Samoa Joe is reading a bedtime story. <laughs> oh, I cannot wait yeah, to watch yeah. this. <laughs> it was called Daddy Goes Night Night. It's amazing, and he is actually playing the mind games of a. Super villain. You're talking. Uh, you want to know who the real super villain is in WWE right now? Vince McMahon, Tommaso Ciampa. Oh, oh yeah, yes. Tommaso it. Ciampa is your Lex Luthor, guys. Like mm-hmm. masterful work. I got Love to watch it. him. It on got to watch him at NXT live here on Friday. He took on Dijak or <clears throat> Dij. Dijak. Don- Donovan Dijak. Dijak. Well, he's 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 being called Donovan Dijakovic. For oh. some reason, yeah, I know. I, Ring of Honor, Donovan Ring. Dijak. So he, so uh, okay. Let's... I think that's actually his last name. Yeah, I think it is, but it's just weird that they went a longer name, considering it, it's going to be back to Dijak by the time he gets to Raw. I'm sure. So I mean, Dijak is this taller guy, and he just moves just, just unreal, right? So he has. They give him an NXT title shot against Champa, Champa. Excuse me. Uh, I need. I need a post-it right. note. Uh, is that wait? Does that make Lars Sullivan Solomon Grundy? Oh yes, <laughs> yes. I'm but, with that. But I'm first that, of all, yeah. to watch Champa work the crowd mm-hmm. in the way that he does, and already there was the fuck you Champas and everything happening. But then, like, to also get Dijak who gets the crowd. Like the drunks beside me are like, "Who? Who are you? Like, do any who are you?" Chance to mm-hmm. I love this guy. Mm-hmm. By the end of it, it was that incredible of a thing. But mm-hmm. no, Ch- Ch- Champa is definitely the super villain, and we we're talking about the social media with Joe Dombrowski a couple of weeks ago. Mm-hmm. That is the guy that does it one hundred percent. Nobody can like that guy except for like about how much of an asshole he is, right? Yeah, absolutely, and he and you know, I uh, no redeeming qualities. No, there, and there's nothing. I mean, he's cold blooded. He's absolutely ruthless, um, and nobody does that. 
Yeah. Nobody is doing no. that to that effect. And he's pushed also PG to to the limit of what mm-hmm. he can do when he was uh, uh, going after Johnny Gargano and Johnny's wife, mm-hmm. uh, Candace. And they oh, you know, Candace. like, but, mm-hmm. but I mean, the, the stuff that he would do on uh, social media where I think like one thing he congratulated her on getting signed. And it yeah. was this <laughs> this real, you know, the Sicilian psychopath. Mm hmm. And it was it, it was masterful because he didn't say anything threatening or profane or or anything that would at all shake the 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 PG line. But favorite part of that feud. Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, but the way he carries himself lets you use your own imagination, mm-hmm. and your and because mm-hmm. of how he carries himself, your own imagination will will color in. The absolute worst. Uh, really, really good work. I hope. I, I hope when he gets called up, they just they leave him alone. Like, mm-hmm. l- just keep doing what you're doing. Shayna Shayna does that too. Like Shayna Shayna is very good at being the super villain of the NXT Women's Division. Yeah, yeah. he's a badass. Yeah, and and, and, and she she's you know, a bully, right? Yeah, she's like yeah. she's that good, and she knows that that she's that mm-hmm. good. And and uses her powers for ill, I guess. You know, I think uh, one thing is crazy. I'm sorry to cut you off, but like, Chomp is doing this with no ACLs. Like he is getting into one of the biggest runs of his, the biggest run of his career, and it, it, I don't think has an ACL in either one of his knees. Like, wow. and he and and has taken what most people would have gone screw it. I, I like I gotta hang it up. Has now in a weird way because now he works so much more methodically mm-hmm. he works so much more he, deliberately deliberate slow mm-hmm. no flashy moves mm-hmm. you know it, it like works he'll, he'll take a big bump occasionally but the bump's, and, on, the bump's on his back it's not really it's and, not on and, his knees and that and that again like that was a good long energetic match you wouldn't know you mm-hmm. wouldn't know that he slowed down any mm-hmm. from anything that you saw so mm-hmm. um, my, my favorite part of that feud like I was going to say was they took the time during the wedding photos to have a photo of Ciampa looking angrily at Johnny Gargano. Like, they snuck that photo in there. Like, they planned this out so well. Yeah, I yeah. Don't, I don't think it was planned that far in advance. I think it was. Hey, well, you think, think they were taking was, wedding photos? Hey, in case we have a feud, take a couple shots of this. Yeah, I, I think that's what it was. I, I think there's, a, there's probably a long tail where this could go kind mm-hmm. of idea you know, these guys have how, been talking about it how else, how else are they going to re- redo that photo yeah i mean mm-hmm. it, it no yeah it's not photoshop for sure no, yeah. right but i mean it's just you know it could be an outtake or it could be like hey take one where you're mad at me you know because like it, like you know gargano has feuded with that, about everybody in that picture <laughs> right uh <laughs> when, when, when joe was on he was talking about how yeah watch the first couple episodes of, of, of uh pwo a couple of weeks before johnny gargano maims C- gregory iron right mm-hmm. who's in the photo right mm-hmm. uh matt cross he's had incredible matches with you know it, it's so so you know it kind of and, goes- and credit to gargano as well i mean he's uh, the ultimate baby face and, and oh, yeah. such sympathy oh, yeah. and mm-hmm. And uh, really, and, you know, someone who, if you do turn on, you could you could get that. How could you? Mm-hmm. How how could you turn mm-hmm. on him? Mm-hmm. Johnny and, wrestling, and oh. he's done both sides of the coin too, to a great mm-hmm. effect. Because um, I think he was a pretty he was a pretty vicious like like uh, what he was doing evolve. I remember seeing little glimmers of that when we saw up, him. He, he beat up Gregory Iron. Yeah, he did beat up Gregory like, Iron. Really, really, really bad. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But uh, and now he's doing the whole frustrated thing, and mm-hmm. and like somebody was saying in the chat room that now he's becoming Venom, um, going to the yeah. reference to the Spider Man awesome. tights uh, mm-hmm. lately. So, um, but uh, no, it, it's it's some good stuff. Um, also interesting, I want to get to after the break. Uh, we have determined that there is an adopt a cruiserweight thing going on raw now. <laughs> uh, so this, this yeah. came up on the wrap up last night. A Drake Maverick. Is uh, is is now uh, mini AOP. Uh, he is. Uh, I, I like to say that he's the Spike Dudley of AOP, um, or he looks or or, or he sword. is the comma of the authors of Pain. Um, but uh, he's the bookmark in the in their chapter. Thank you, thank you. I've, I was looking for another literary reference. Um, and now Leo Rush 
Warrior not the guy that got the mm. the uh, Warrior Award last year. Leo Rush is now apparently um, um, giving pep talks to motivate Bobby Lashley. My man! My man! My man! Uh, So it's interesting. Um, um, uh, You know what? Drew Gulak has been showing up in the uh, entire bad guy locker room fights when the Shield beats him. fucking hates Roman Reigns. He does. (laughs) Apparently, he does. He just goes to the show. He he probably pays a ticket and just. Decides to get in the ring anyway. He wants a better Raw. He wants a better Raw, apparently. So this could be speculations that maybe 205 Live, something, something said, you know, maybe 205 Live's going away and they're reintegrating, which is kind of interesting. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know what that means, but it's definitely been a trend the last couple of weeks mm-hmm. on Raw. So and, and you know what? I'm, I'm actually really interested to see where Leo and and Lashley go because mm-hmm. honestly I fucking hate Lashley <laughs> and on that note let's but, go to break all right let me tell you about pizza slice on Broadway a good friend supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza right here in the neighborhood if I know you got a lot of you guys international but I know a lot of you guys have a chance to come to Pittsburgh for one reason or another and a lot of you guys do stop by our good friends at slice on Broadway where if you whether you want to visit the neighborhood here right up the street in Beachview over at PNC Park over the Pittsburgh Pirates Carnegie PA or in the East End you're probably not too far if you get to town. Uh, it's go a food check about paradise it. store. It's a, it is a food paradise. It is a damn good, pepperoni, actually, damn good pepperoni pizza. Damn good pepperoni that's pizza. That's right. That's right. Uh, Bobby, you were just saying they're just on Food Paradise. It was that on the Food Network, food right? Paradise. Yep. The last one on the local favorites. There you go. What? <laughs> nice. Last one. On the local favorites. That's so you see they're getting featured. So uh, we're glad that they're getting the mayhem bump. We uh, they've been supporting us since their original location here uh, before they, they they branched out so far. Uh, so it's good to see before them doing good time. as well. What's that? Before they went big time. That's right. It's just like when you watch your favorite indie wrestler and he grows and blossoms and then becomes Elias. Slice on Broadway <laughs> is the Elias of local pizza. Walk with Slice on Broadway. Walk with Slice. I like, I like that. I like that. Uh, and uh, with that, we'll be right back with the big question. I want to talk more about cruiserweights right after this. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Don't ever whisper that in my ear ever again. <laughs> Don't ever whisper that. I have, I have jumped down a rabbit hole that I'm not going to get out of. We are back. Riz is jumping down the rabbit holes. I have Stay comic books with Hulk Hogan on it and so much more uh, that's going to be on the gold or if you joined us here live on the Facebook Live. But anyways, um, anyways, uh, because his phone's going to die. What can get you a charger, you know? Uh, Chris LaRusso has shows. Yes. Okay. Plugs for the upcoming Let's month. Let's get it out of the way. Okay. September 15th, Remix Pro Wrestling, uh, Marietta, Ohio. That's this weekend. That's this weekend. Yes, it is. Yeah, good. I'm glad that you know how to read a calendar. Why don't you get your hand out of a puppet's ass and maybe you can... <laughs> Lucha Fiesta, Pittsburgh, September 16th, right across the street, up here. Uh, what's the... What, uh, this is Beachview. Beachview. Okay, That's thank you. next weekend. No, that's the same weekend. No, it's the same weekend. September 16th. It's no, Sunday. It's Remix of Saturday, Lucha Fiesta Sunday. I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Bobby. Shut up. It's okay. Mute his mic. You, your speaking privileges are revoked. Revenge Thanks. Pro Wrestling, Erie at the Avalon, September, Friday, September 21st. Uh, IWC Proving Ground, where we will see the debut of five graduates from the Iron City Wrestling Academy uh, in White Oak, Pennsylvania, uh, September 22nd. Um, October... Sixth, we are. Oh, excuse me. October 29th, Premier uh, Championship Wrestling uh, in uh, Cleveland, Ohio, at Turner's Hall. I'm jumping all over the place. Sorry, here. Oh, Real Shoot Wrestling, uh, September 29th. Uh, Black Diamond Wrestling, October 7th. Uh, IWC is back at court time on October 6th. Um, I'm sorry. I'm. I'm, they're all over the page. Jesus. Uh, while, while you're collecting yourself, Bradley is asking, will El Miz de Discounto be at the Lucha Show? Bradley, oh, Bradley, no. I want you to listen to me right now, okay? That's, that's, your life 
as you know it, you every breath you take is because of my goodwill. All right. Every the, breath you all take. right. I want you to understand something. I am already two thirds of the way to, to the IWC Triple Crown. All right. Mm-hmm. When I win the IWC World Heavyweight Championship, this is how, uh, uh, Sorg. Pay attention because yes. yes. you're going to be filming this. Yeah. Okay. And this is and this is how the show is going to go to black. Okay. I will hoist the title over my head. We'll take a moment for the glory shot. And then I'm going to dive out of the ring under the bottom rope. I'm going to super kick Bradley right in the mouth over the guardrail. He will fly (laughs) and take out the entire section of chairs. Show goes to black. Okay. Like Bradley's lifeless body show goes to black. That's how How I want this to be. Did I I miss? How how did Bradley get over the, the No, I'm going to kick over the guardrail. He's always in the front row. He's always in the front row. I'm going to kick over the guardrail. I thought you meant like you're going to kick him him over. Like he's going to fly over the guardrail. No, no, no. I will kick him. I will stand on one side. My my great athleticism will allow me to kick over the guardrail with enough force to launch Bradley's lifeless body into the crowd. (laughs) End scene. Hmm. Oh, uh, November 3rd, two two (laughs) shows. IWC is in Clearfield that night, and Ring of Honor will be at Stage AE. Which one will you be at? All wow. of them. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. Double we'll shot. If I have a helicopter, maybe. Like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Uh, hey, that, means, wait, that means Chris can play video games with us on the 13th. Ooh. Oh, there you go. You and mm-hmm. Bobby. You can finally settle this over a game of s- something. <laughs> What's the big question? The big question. <laughs> <laughs> like we said, it's adopt the re- it's adopt the cruiserweight on Monday Night Raw. So um, I know this popped up. This popped up in last night's chat. So I'm sorry I didn't catch the name of who 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 brought this idea to us. That would be me, sir. That would be Riz. Thank you, Riz. Um. Who would you like to pair a cruiserweight with on WWE Raw? Hmm. Or SmackDown? Or SmackDown? Anywhere? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Throw we got we got to spread the love. We have an entire Throw roster around. 205 Live. Let's presume whether the, whether 205 Live is going away or not. We don't know. It was purely speculation because you yeah. know it's a, it's an interesting. Maybe they just want them to work more than one night. Um, and uh, who who would you? Tony right. Nice with um, Carl Anderson, they'll have an app off. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think Nice would probably be. Nice seems like a good brother. Okay. So. Mm-hmm. Okay. Would well, uh, Nas- Nasawa, Nasawa, Akira, uh, no, Tozawa, Tozawa, Tozawa. Akira, Akira Tozawa. Jeez. Well, he used to roll with. Uh, I say he's already. He can re re join with, with Titus Worldwide. Uh, Titus Comic- Worldwide. Com- well, I mean, but also, you know, he has a long history back at Dragon's Gate. He was in Kamikaze USA with, at the time, John Moxley, oh. who is uh, our current Dean Ambrose. So uh, they used to be running buddies. I'm actually surprised that never came up. But Akira Tozawa and Dean Ambrose, I think, would be... They, it was always interesting at Dragon's Gate USA. Uh, Tozawa would, like, start speaking Japanese. And Ambrose, I, I, at the time, John Moxley, absolutely couldn't agree more. And you can, you don't know a goddamn <laughs> thing he's saying, do you? Wow, this is this is a thing. <laughs> I got some clips from Dragon Gate USA for this. I wanted to check these out a little later. Akira Tozawa and uh, John Moxley. This is also where I think Rebby Sky slaps him in the face. Yeah, there, that oh. Rebby Sky just slapped him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> it's a oh, small wrestling world. It is. It is. Is it because he said he liked owls? <laughs> that could be that could be not a fan of owls as we discovered uh mm-hmm. anyways uh no anybody else have any others you you team up oh i have one go ahead um well you see I, i'm raw we have we have an unlikely tag team that honestly should not be a tag team mm-hmm. because chad gable should be with drew gulak forever and a day. oh yes jeez like a buddy cop system no, like just co- like a, this is just like a straight man buddy cop. Nope, just just have them be awesome. Just have them throw motherfuckers all over the place. That's that's literally it. Um, my my um my honorable mention: Jack Gallagher with the New Day. 
I don't know why. I just want to see. <laughs> I, huh? Do you want to? Ultra- do you want him to be Sir like the the Sir Buddy Horse, Butterworth, or something? What? There, weren't they doing a Sir Buttersworth? Like a at guy with point. a top hat that was that was handing out the pancakes. Oh yeah. Um. Oh God. Was, was it Mr. Buttersworth? I think it was Mr. Wasn't Buttersworth. Mr. Buttersworth because they can't get the rights for that. Right. Oh, Surprised um, that wasn't a cease and desist. Bootiesworth. Bootiesworth. Uh, yeah. Uh, the guy. I don't. Okay. I'll buy it. Uh, from the chat room, Jack Alger with the bar from Dave. Ah, ooh, I like that. I had a different one for the okay, bar. Okay, okay. Well, you can have yours. Uh, Tina says Mustafa Ali and AJ Styles. Oh, God. Mustafa Ali and anyone. Really. You, yeah, seriously. Um, Alex Miller is saying uh, Seth Rollins gets Buddy Murphy. AJ Styles gets Cedric. Ooh. Okay. Just as your buddy, you know. You know, it's the very like. It's no, the, it's you, the, like we're can, turning the adopt this uh, cruiserweight into like like big brother, big sisters at this point. You I guess. Buddy Murphy back with Alexa Bliss. Yeah, there you go. That'd be real interesting. That'd be fun. They have no chemistry. <laughs> have you seen Total um, Divas? So, have you reason- seen NXT when she? Was the one who made Blake and Murphy a thing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, I want to roll back because this has come up a few times. Bobby, have you watched like all of Total Bellas and Total Divas? I have two episodes of Total Bellas left. Wow. <laughs> Bobby, why do you do this to yourself? Because I hate ter- or I like good TV. <laughs> Wait, no. That was a Freudian slip. I'm not purpose. sure. I, I'm not uh, sure Bobby. either. I Bobby. almost I, I just watched probably for like Dan O'Brien. Bobby, are you current on Lucha Underground? No. We gotta talk about your priorities. No, no, Stop no, no. Don't have the channel. Find it. Find Lucha Underground somewhere. I we have the same. Wait, 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 wait. Legally, you know, I guarantee some of those comic, I, some of those comic books probably Ooh, could end up as Lucha <laughs> Underground storylines. Uh you, you have you seen this week's episode? <laughs> <laughs> it's um, it's it is um. It's the timey wimey wibbly wobbly. There's there is time travel. Wait wait wait. wait. Mike, we you go... used to have a total divas podcast, and I do have the time stone. Yeah. With, I do have the time stone with me. So yes. keyword being used to. I also used to have an impact podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I stopped. I stopped watching things I I hate watched, and then my life got a lot better. Yep, we just can't. You still watch WWE? Well, well, well about it all the time. Well, he has there is to. a very good he reason now, to. Bobby. Yeah, yeah. There, there's a very, there's a very good reason. Hey, remember when Mike used to say you couldn't pay me to watch this shit? Ah, I lied. <laughs> <laughs> I Anyways, said, I should have said again, and even then, I'd be lying. Can I go? Can I get sometimes, my sometimes you need to enjoy oh, hating you things. Might, you might have, you <laughs> Can I just leave? Good. Go. Take a long walk off a short pier. Jeez. Oh. oh. Hey. Uh, anyways, um, Tina well, no, also uh, Tina wait. also says Cedric and D- Daniel Bryan. Bobby, did you have one? Yes. No Amdar and the bar. Ooh. Yes. Cut no his- Amdar. Oh my god, I love it. Uh, that I works. It. Yeah. Although and, so, and he can't he can't get the catchphrase right, so he's like, "We don't set the bar. We are Noam Dar." <laughs> he can never get the catchphrase right. And it's ruined. I will not sell it. And again, the bar will be right here in Pittsburgh, September twenty second. Yeah, Go good, check them out drummer. out at the good main problem. event. No the main event. This is fun. The main event, not the tag team. The sports bar, <laughs> bowling alley over in Robinson Township. North Bay. Yet. Why isn't that a sponsorship deal that's been worked out yet? I know. So, well, yes, well, yes, no, no, no. We are technically sponsoring the that. that. Oh well. So there you I'm, go. I'm just. Why aren't they getting paid? Well, never mind. I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to take money out of your pocket and put it in. in uh, well, Duke's. Who says we're getting paid money? Wait, uh, why aren't they no, on no, the show? This is so. This is so. Well, Riz, it's in the works. Riz, I'm, I'm getting. There's, there's, there's negotiations it's happening. Liked and retweeted a cake of his face. For your birthday. That's right. Yeah, That's right. And uh, and Riz is going to go 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 ask him about the cake. If there's a cake there, if, well, we can, we can bring a cake. Should at least bring a picture of the cake. Or something. He'll be mad because there's no cake. Then again, he's working out. Would 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 Seamus eat a cake? He does he, he does do the um, Celtic uh, 
CrossFit type situation there. <laughs> Celtic CrossFit. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's, I think that's what it's called. They actually think. No, that's. Oh, Tina called them the Guinness Supernova. Yeah. Oh, I'm that's writing good. that down for a show title. Uh, Got the CrossFit. Yeah. Is that what? What's it? Is that what it's called? No, it, it's. Um, it should it's, be. Don't think. Something. I've, I've, I've. They have like a whole YouTube channel about it now. Um. Jeez. So the reason why I brought this up and one of you guys took my cruiserweight, one of you guys took my cruiserweight, but I'm going to use them again. There's plenty of cruiserweights. Uh, That's fine. Yeah, took the, the, the image of just having Drew Gulak and AOP together <laughs> is something I want to see. Okay. Like as a manager, manager, wrestler, mm-hmm. maybe trios. I don't, I don't it, just, just have him be, by their side. I still I still think Braun should have gone with AOP instead of Drake. Like instead of we ha- of having bacon mac and cheese, we just have Braun and AOP. I really want bacon mac and cheese now. Like like as the food item. Yeah, you're welcome. Like like a that's my that, that's my post mayhem snack, thanks. It's delicious. Jack, <laughs> Jack Gallagher yes. and the B team. Oh, can wow. we? Can we? Can the B team not get the old Spirit Squad um, theme music? Because it you just shut your mouth. annoys the crap out of me every time. You shut your so mouth. About- Sorg, if it makes you feel better, in like three weeks they'll be back on main event, and you'll never see him again. Ugh, uh, it was a good run. It was a good run. I, I like the B team. I like the B team too, but really they're, like the they're, team. they're going away. They're yeah, going we're, we're, sadly, yeah, but still. Yeah. Good on, good on Raw for like doing that. Mm-hmm. Like having that moment for them who, I, who've had who they, those two have seen some shit. Mm. What was it? <laughs> Viet, what was it? Vietnam. Like, <laughs> <laughs> seen some shit, man. Yeah. You don't know how it's like. Chris, you don't know what it's like in catering. Man. You weren't Somebody. there for the days of NXT season two, brother. Somebody touched both oh. buttons. It was so cold. We had to drink sodas and run upstairs and flip tires. Oh. We lost Titus on the way <laughs> several <laughs> times. He got dysentery. It was a rough go. Jeez. I still to this day don't know who Michael Tarver is. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody does. Hey, he was he was on he was at Trios. He was at Trios. They had an NXT or Nexus oh. team, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh jeez, <laughs> guys, let us know. Tweet us. Uh, hashtag big que- WMS big question uh, with big your butt. what? 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 Shut <laughs> up! Shut up and move what? on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey guys. I heard that. That's pro I heard wrestling. That. One, more. Is... One more. Just because of the dancing that could be involved. The Brian Kendrick and Oscar. No. Yes. Really? No. Yeah. I think it'd be great. Okay. I guess so. I don't know why. I feel like it'd be awesome. Hey, guys. <laughs> pro Wrestling's a wild and crazy art form. Did you know that? And Occupy no. Pro Wrestling no shit. is here <laughs> to look at what makes it fun. Featuring articles, blogs, podcasts, that bring in a podcast that brings you interviews with fellow fans. Occupy Pro Wrestling is pulling the smart back and smart mark. Please check it out at OccupyProWrestling.com. Check out their merch over at WhatAManeuver.com. You can also check out the Wrestling Mayhem Show merch. Uh, by what? one Alex what? Cars helping us out over at whatamaneuver.com. Go check out the Wrestling Mayhem Show and the Occupy Pro Wrestling show, uh, uh, sections over there. Support Pro Wrestling. Support OccupyProWrestling.com. Thank you to our friends for supporting this show. Um, all right. Bringing it back around. Guys, a, you know what? Raw sounds a little bit better the last two weeks, and it will for the foreseeable future. Because Renee okay. Renee Young re- is replacing Jonathan Coachman as WWE Raw full time announcer commentator. That's a that's the applause from Chris LaRusso. Chris, you're excited about this? Absolutely, I think you know. And and as you know, I know people are saying, "Oh, it's great to finally have a woman in the booth." You know, 
all that aside, she's an amazing talent. Mm -hmm. She, Mm -hmm. she has charisma. She is engaging. She's professional. She has managed to hold down those pre, uh, uh, pre pay-per-view panels. Yeah. She's kind of, she's the traffic cop. Yeah. And and has managed to do that and keep her sanity talking smack and, uh, not, you know, she, she's not lost it publicly on the air, Mm -hmm. which I don't think I could have, you know, one Baron Corbin interview, no offense, but like, <laughs> you know, she, but kidding aside, she has done an amazing job and has definitely shown that she is more than capable of, uh, of holding down that position. And, uh, you know, I know as, as you know, the women's revolution and the, uh, the pay-per-view coming up and may on Cla- there's, you know, a lot of things going on with, uh, with women in the sport, but, yeah, and and that's all great, but just alone on her on her on the merits of her talent, she deserves this, uh, and maybe deserves it more than anyone else in the company at this point. Mm-hmm. Wow! Yeah, and, and and if you want to know how valued Renee Young was on those pre shows, try watching the Hell in the Cell one that will now be hosted by Coach. Oh, oh! Try watching that and not having um, blood leak from your ears. We're going to have coach <laughs> the terror in your voice. It's going to be coach coach Booker T. One of the two guys that are, that coach have their own Booker internet T, podcast. One of the two fucking marks. <laughs> and by the Jerry, way, by the I way, they're fired uh, because it's PC. Lawler. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be terrible. David Otunga, save us. Please. David oh, Otunga, save us. Oh, please don't go I, and shoot I, another movie. I, I want to make I want to make an an Otunga shirt that's just like the Jericho one. Save us, Otunga! Like I just I, he's the only sane person that's going to be on those pre shows now. Yeah, well, aren't you glad there isn't a talking smack for that needs a fill in? Mm-hmm. <sighs> I miss talking smack. because she was everywhere. I mean, she was on both shows, mm-hmm. uh, Monday and Tuesdays. She um, was just on SmackDown last week doing an in-ring interview. Is she, years, and years before yeah. that, yeah, she was the backstage interviewer. Yeah, which, yeah. You know, that's not an easy job either. To and I know that some people have made a joke that oh, that uh, you know now they're they're just basically mic stands. You know they don't really. But she had charisma. She yeah. had you know she engaged with the talent. The just up- didn't parrot right. uh, a question. You know, mm-hmm. and, and the other girls are so interchangeable <laughs> that they have right now. Uh, like, Charlie Cruz is yeah, not Charlie's bad. Not Charlie's bad. Charlie's starting to stick out for sure. Yeah, I enjoy but I'm still I'm still going. Is that Charlie Cruz? Like, every time somebody else <laughs> Kayla, comes on, I'm like, Kayla's, get, Kayla's getting better in the next one too. Yeah, um, like, you know, they, they had you know, obviously probably newer talent. Um, some blonde girl doing the announcing on NXT, and I'm just like, it's just uh, one of those you watch. You're just like, do you even like wrestling? You know, was her name Charlie St. Cloud or something like that? I don't know. I don't know. Probably. And, and you know, we're talking about, you know, now doing play-by-play by Raw. That means that she's also going to be the first woman to have Vince in her uh, in yeah. her headset. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, I, I think, that, I mean, that is not an easy job to have. But I think if anybody is prepared to balance telling the, uh, you know, telling the story of what's going on in mm-hmm. the ring and also keep uh you know keep the boss in her earpiece Mm -hmm. um you know and i and and i've enjoyed what i've heard so far like i i haven't had those moments where Mm -hmm. you know the because and again i don't i this is a hard job and it is so much harder if vince mcmahon is actively screaming at you (laughs) in the i mean do any try and do anything while vince mcmahon is yelling at you Mm -hmm. okay let alone call a live television broadcast that mm-hmm. is, you know, being seen by millions of people around the One country the most, and the world. The most viewed weekly program, regardless of what you think of the ratings, like it is mm-hmm. the most viewed weekly live programming. So do your so so Sorg next. I, I want to I'm going to scream at you the entire time you do the awesome cast next time. And we'll see how you do. And it's like, yeah. you know, no, it's 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 hard, and you know. Graves has done well, and you know people give shit to Michael Cole and Coach, and, and yeah, there have been some gaffes, but that's a hard job, guys. I mean, whew. Mm-hmm. Uh, props to any props to anybody who's had to sit in that seat. Mm-hmm. I, I give props say. to Michael Cole, but Coach, I I can't reward him. I can't. I just can't. Can you sympathize with him? Nope. 
Not even he, remotely. Wow. He has to, because because he thinks he's doing great. No, he he knows he has to fill time. Yeah, and he, the, the with, with this, like, I, I agree. He he's not good at his job. He's definitely not good. Yeah, there there is a certain time but, when you do you do need to fill space with word vomit. But, unfortunately, but there was, three but hours there of was show. a reason. There was a reason he was on the Sports Center at two a.m. Like he was, he was never prime time. Hmm. I, I, I didn't even know that, quite frankly. Like, I think it was on Sports Center. I, I think he got like the ten o'clock because of the WWE connection for interviews. Oh, yeah, but oh, yeah. Um, but that that's all I'm aware of. But though, Holy but like he, he filled time with the. Like the word of the hour, how, and how will we get like by five words without knowing what the word of the hour is going to be? Maybe I'll still tweet it. Oh, uh, uh, hope, hope, no, he'll, he'll say no, it because he doesn't watch Raw, Sorg. Even when he commentated, he didn't watch Raw. I will say that the new commentary team does have they have chemistry. Mm-hmm. You know, yes, they they they, it's, they play it's, off each other. Well, really well, well, as to the talents that 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 do every show possible, I'm they sure didn't. Corey and Renee probably travel together at this point. Corey and so, Renee are like legitimately really good friends. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like they, they do travel together because they go to every show. Mm-hmm. So the, the, um, nat- they have a lot of natural chemistry. It will be interesting. I kinda, go ahead. I, I kind of want to see their ride along. <laughs> Corey and Renee. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Talking about stories yeah, it'd be, about it'd like be much better than that. JBL Cole and Byron. Oh, that was terrible. Yeah, it was fine. No, that, that was just, Literal filming of hazing. That's what that's that true. was. That's true. You got JBL in the car. What'd you expect? <laughs> Just yeah. Mix Max Challenge is back. Coming back. Yeah. What comes doing back? it round robin this time, right? Next week. It looks yeah. like it's going to be a round robin. They're going to do two matches every week. It's going to be the G1 tournament. WWE's G1 tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Mix Match G1. Here we go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they're going to... Let's say that they're, they're, they're going to go... Sorry, I've just lost all the numbers that were right in front of the me. The t-shirts that they released, some of them are cool. Some of them are They're terrible. <laughs> they released really? t-shirts? Yeah, they released t-shirts. Oh, I have to look at these. Let's see, the they're Kevin kids. Owens Natty one's pretty cool. Oh, they, so they have the team t-shirts now. Yeah. So oh, that's smart. Shit. Okay, that's I need to see all of these now. All right, well, take a look at those. But it's going to be 10 weeks of programming since there's two matches per episode. Um, they say it's going to be round robin with four weeks for the playoffs where presumably... I don't know. This is according to allwrestling.com, and I don't understand the sources. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, it leaves us four weeks of playoffs where presumably a top two teams for each brand would advance it to and compete with. Are we seeing as a shirt? Looks like an eight, eight <laughs> team tournament with four quarterfinal matches. There's So there's going to be a lot of wrestling, uh, which is good. There's some of those teams that didn't get past the first round that you, you just wanted to see more of, right? I yeah, think that's they, probably why they're they doing it this way. They did have the uh, vote an option to have someone come back, but mm-hmm. Bobby, where are you seeing these team shirts? They're not on shop. They they were on. Yeah, they're, they're on not on. They're, they're not on shop. Maybe they maybe they haven't, maybe they haven't been released. They might maybe not they have been released. released. They might, yeah, they might not be released till next week. Mm. Okay. When it actually starts, that I've seen them. Although, although there is a uh, Daniel Bryan and yeah. Bree shirt that says yes, yes mode. mode. Um, that that's that's when you're drunk and want to kick people in the face. <laughs> sure. I think I might need no to buy because that Bree mode be means being blackout drunk, and saying yes means you want to kick people in the face. So you forgot one part of the Bree mode. What blacking out? And what else was she doing? I don't remember. I I terrible suicide death. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> she was really really excited about a certain thing in her purse. Oh, the vibrator. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh well, yeah, Riz. After you kick a bunch of people in the face, of course you're gonna jerk off. That's like, just wow. how that works. So, Mix Match what did, Challenge. What did you learn from wrestling this week? Uh, Mix Match. <laughs> I'm just saying what we're all thinking. I, no. I was not thinking that at no, all. Don't I you, was not don't thinking you that. Dare, yeah, don't you no. dare subscribe, Mike. No. no. That's the Mike. That's the Mad Mike show. That's not the rest of us. I God damn it. Coffee. What did you just do? I just spilled do? coffee on everything. Thanks, Mike. Well, this is what you... Jeez. 
Jeez, I don't you have guys, a producer here. You hashtag Sorg mode. Oh, here, Chris, oh, the take the show over. I'm going to go get some paper towels. Okay, okay. Gentlemen, 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 it is now the Chris LaRusso podcast, okay? Ah, and It's on uh, custom tees, Mike. Oh. What? Oh, look at that. Oh, shit. Some of them are actually pretty cool. Oh, what, are you, what, what are you talking about? Oh, the, the Mix Max? The, the t-shirts. Okay. Yeah, the, the group t-shirts are on. I thought you were saying the Chris LaRusso podcast is on customtees.com. Sork, pick up the paper towels. Um, <gasps> oh, my God. They have a Drew Gulak shirt. For a better 205 Live. Oh, my God. I need to buy one. Sorry. Now I'm freaking out. Okay. Um, well, anything else you want to plug while we're at the, the t-shirts? Uh, custom tees? Uh, shop. No, I think, I think By the way, I think if you want to go to, uh, do, do we have a spot for the sword, or are we, do we already do? He's that? not on a he's not on headset right uh, now. Right. No, no, literally, I don't, I'm not sure if the podcast okay. is still on the so, air at this point. Yeah, guys, if you if you are on the custom tees part, did you see the Rusa the Mana shirt, the, the yeah, photo no. shoot shirt that they have? Oh, wait, no. I thought you meant the one the, the ravishing. Rusa no, 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 no. It's Day. it's uh. Oh, I, I, I didn't see anything. All right, I'm back. I'm a little soggy, but okay. I'm back. I'm All back, right. and I'm showing I'm showing the T-shirts for everybody. The Miz yeah. and Oscar on terrible. So Rusev is holding Lana by her legs. What the hell is this? This is so weird. <laughs> Who made these? These are weird. Um. Yeah. That's that's awkward. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's very awkward. You, that doesn't even. You know, we talk about like like T-shirts that you can like wear in public <laughs> now. Um, these aren't like, I don't get, I don't get this. I don't, who would wear that? It's just like, the, which one, which one they, are you talking they, about? So, so I'm looking at the the team little big, like, like their pictures. And it's just like, these are just their pose pictures from the oh, superstar no, was... page. Just like slapped onto a shirt with mixed wait match challenge. See, wait until you see Rusev and Lana. So we're, yeah, we're looking I at did. it. I, I looked at Rusev and Lana. Ah, okay. It's like they's not even it, posed together. It, it's it's no, just no, they're not the, the, the no Rusev is just holding her by one hand. The, yeah, the Bobby Lashley and Sasha Banks shirts from like if you're looking at it from far away, it looks like Bobby Lashley's on Sasha Banks' shoulders. <laughs> well, yeah, um, even Bob, well, okay. Bobby, are you going to get the the Oscar and Miz mask one? No, that it looks like an Easter egg on like. <laughs> LSD. <laughs> what? Oh, That's boy. terrible. Wow. Yeah, you guys can go to customtees.ww.com and ravishing roofs. Okay, that's kind of cool. Ravishing roofs. Ravishing roofs of day, but that, that's fine. That's, that's yeah. fine. I like the KO one. With the oh wow, that does look like gone. an Easter egg on acid. <laughs> Doesn't it? <laughs> All I right. Like the the, the Strowman and Bliss one with the hands. Get these hands. Oh, like, it, 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 these hands. We need to move on from fashion here because, you know, by the way, we'll have a fantastic Black Diamond t-shirt, Black Diamond Wrestling, representing our friends in West Virginia. It has a pocket. <laughs> it's the only wrestling shirt I, I have thought that with, was a a, hole. with a pocket. No, it's a pocket. No. This is a pocket t-shirt that they put a logo on. They're just, like, both appeasing it. Uh, but anyways, shout out to them. But hey, uh, you know, today's sentimental, sentimental attachment to uh, other people's things of for, have uh, forgotten and tossed aside might only be rivaled by Virgil's sentimental attachment to his former WWE career. Can you guess which one has a great podcast talking about the happiness their sentimental attachment brings? Actually, I'll watch the Virgil one. Oh, no, well, that is available on Indie Wrestling Network right now. The, the Legend of Virgil is is uh, traveling merchandise table, but you can check out the thrifty podcast on the Sorgatron media podcast network, uh, thrifty podcast on the Facebook page. Those guys will be joining us. I believe both members of the thrifty podcast will join be joining us here in studio. Last time they came, uh, they, they, they filled the couch with wrestle buddies. Um, and I know that they just recently found a, uh, ECW DVD of like the best of Pittsburgh on the road that has all Shane Douglas matches. So I'm curious about that. And I just found out that apparently he, he did some, he did some fan, not fanfic, but like, I think it was like e fed right writing that he was showing me from like 2011. Uh, so it, these, these guys are big wrestling fans and it's awesome to see what they find when they're out thrifting as well. So check them out the thrifty podcast and they'll be joining us here next week on the mayhem show. Uh, guys, it is time 
Chris has been asking for this two segments ago. What did you <laughs> learn from wrestling this week? And Mad Mike, I think you said you had one very particular. Somebody is doing. Oh. Are you choking on your microphone? With a mic. Riz, what are you doing? Riz, Riz, Riz left. forgot to mute. Riz left and now he's back. He went to get his wrestle buddy. He oh, went okay. to get his wrestle buddy. Wrestle buddy. They well, are coming out with new ones. Yeah, if you is. forgot to mute. It sounded like you were like knocking over a Seven Eleven. Maybe Matt I Hardy, was. Matt Hardy posted a Matt Hardy wrestle buddy. Ooh, the other day. Um, he's got his buddy. Got my buddy. <laughs> Mad okay. Mike, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? Um, so I was I was able to watch um, SmackDown from last week and uh, what happened between the commercials. Of the uh, Miz versus R Truth match, okay, and and this and is there, with your special access. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there was a big return, a big mm-hmm. return. No, no, no. You don't even know what I'm gonna say yet. Okay. What What do you think? What do you think I'm guessing? I think it's Little Jimmy. You're actually right. Yeah, yeah. Because as soon as we go to commercial. Miz is like, hold on. He starts patting little Jimmy on the head. Miz drops to a knee, shakes little Jimmy's hand, puts little Jimmy on his knee and says, how you doing, buddy? And R-Truth is very confused because, as we know, little Jimmy did not like Miz. Mm -hmm. So then Miz is, you know, talking to little Jimmy, and then all of a sudden, punts little Jimmy into the crowd. (laughs) Oh, not like Snitsky. Yes, just like Snitsky. Yeah. So that's what I learned. Miz is taking a cue from Gene Snitsky. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, our truth really got his revenge because he threw Miz right into the ring barrier after that. He was mm. not happy. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Bobby FJ Town, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Um, I learned that everybody in WWE is fighting over the yard. Um, Roman and Braun, The Undertaker, Triple H, but nobody is invested in your house anymore. Did you not see the Lucha House Party shirt? That's because it's yeah. Paige's house. It is Paige's yeah, that's house. True. It's Paige's house. <laughs> but it's the Are you okay over Braun. there? I'm fine. Are you okay? It's gone on too long. No? I'm gonna get kicked. I'm gonna get kicked at the IWC show. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Join us in White Oak. <laughs> September twenty second. Um, Riz, what did you yeah. learn from wrestling this week? Where's your Where's your buddy at? I I I, I learned that I shouldn't look at. I shouldn't search WB fan fiction. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh no! Um, Congratulations, you're on a government gonna, watch I'm list. Going to read the summary. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, read, you might well, need read, you might need to read, change the rating of this of this podcast. Read the title. No, it's already it's, it's already, already uh, We're already explicit. It's fine. Okay. Is is, is there a title? It's just called That was easy. The Shield. <laughs> oh, it's just called, called The Shield. Shield. Okay. Well, was written it written The Shield? Was it written by Jen Carlins? It's written by Shell. So maybe. A, okay, a, a pen know. name. So, I'm just going to read the summary because it's a it's a really long thing. Uh, so the shield has been brought into the WWE to dispense justice. As you do. Mm-hmm. Outside the ring, they belong to Triple H in every way. <laughs> Riz, don't ever whisper uh, to me. The <laughs> roster knows that this precious stable is not to be touched or to be fucked. All right. To do so will bring bring punishment on themselves. So what happens when a certain superstar, capitalized, decides <laughs> he wants Roman for himself? To be fair, that's the proper nomenclature. I was about to say, well, you can't you can't say that they didn't uh, Ooh, honor can, the trademark. Can we, can we guess who the certain superstar is? Oh, you you can. <laughs> Stop um, whispering. Uh, this is how he talks. Is, is, is Roman gonna get these hands? No. Damn it. Dolph, Dolph Ziggler. No, please. That would be weird, but no. Shame. That would be weird. <laughs> that would, that's where you fucking draw the line. 
did I hear Sorg say Seamus? Seamus. No. I'm not guessing. <laughs> oh, come, come on, on Chris. Chris guess. No. Come on. It's no. It's a part of wrestling culture. No, no, it is <laughs> not. <laughs> it's, it's part of wrestling it's fan culture. It's on the internet. Um, now, so it no. <laughs> now the pairings, the pairings say uh, first is Triple H, of course. Mm-hmm. Then you have the Shield. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then Hornswoggle. The the special certain superstar. John Cena. Randall Keith Orton. Oh. oh. So we're going to get to see how serpentine he can be. All right, moving on. Oh, Chris, boo. what did you learn from wrestling this week? I learned. There has to be. Like, oh, keep going. <laughs> oh. No, finish your thought, Riz. I'm not no, letting you interrupt Riz, mine. I'm looking to see. Riz, <laughs> just look for a fan fiction with Randy Orton and Joey Ryan. The Viper versus the Trouser Snake. Uh. I'm sure no. there's fan fiction out there with just Randy Orton playing with RC cars. Chris, how do you do? No, no, okay, how do you do a fan fiction with Randy Orton in it and not have anything regarding his Viper? That's all I'm saying. There's nothing in here about his Viper. Chris Larusso, what did you learn from wrestling this week? I learned that if you are a owner of a professional wrestling company and mm-hmm. you fire somebody from your professional wrestling company who is in charge of your social media and in charge of your uh, the maintenance of perhaps your, your Facebook and your Twitter accounts. If you fire that person, make sure you change your passwords so that Whoa. former employees Uh-oh. cannot access your, uh, your message. So I will not name any names. But as I was uh, contacting some companies this week, trying to expand uh, my horizons and, and uh, sort of get out there, a, uh, a company uh, messaged me back some rather uh, unflattering things. And I found out later that it was, in fact, a uh, no, we apologize. That was a disgruntled former employee. <laughs> we actually <did. laughs> We're still not going to book you, but... Uh, uh, no, that was not, you know, our view of things. I was like, oh, okay. Oh. So for, for anybody who... Uh, that applies to any company. Yeah. So, it, so there you go. Yeah. For professional wrestling, um, if, if you're going to fire somebody who's in charge of social media, change your passwords. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, Sorg, if you ever fire one of us, you're definitely going to have to change. Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I had to deal with that on an old site that we used <laughs> to run, actually. I had to be suspended. <laughs> Well, well, Riz is the one with the ban hammer, so. Riz, yeah. Don't, don't. Yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> you take that seriously. You're yeah, the creepiest. Yeah, Riz, you're Riz the creepiest is, uh, human late, that's ever lived. All right. Riz <laughs> is late '90s Ravens flock member Ban Hammer. Van ha- No, Ban Hammer. No, I said Ban Hammer. It's a joke. Bless this thou holy band grenade. Oh, jeez. Uh, from the chat room, Tina learned that uh, hearing Elias live would uh, be the only plus to seeing Raw live here in a few weeks when it comes to Seattle. Um, let's hey, see. You have a, you have a one in two shot of seeing The Undertaker. That's true. That is true. Because <laughs> he's going to be on every other week. That is true. Bradley says, I learned that if Drake Braddock can beat Bulk Nasty, then I can tackle any problem in my life. <laughs> All right. That's insulting to to both Drake Braddock and Bulk Nasty. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Drake has a pretty sweet Ninja Turtles collared shirt that he was wearing yes, on Saturday night. Yes, he does. I appreciated that. Um, so uh, that that is we have to get him on the show. He's he's officially. Oh, on the, on, you'll on the you'll have a delight. Oh, that'll be a podcast. <laughs> oh my god! And no, 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 don't listen. I've known Drake Braddock since I was in eighth grade. Okay? Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, we we. Both grew up in Altoona, Pennsylvania together. Hmm. And uh, okay. I'm not <laughs> is, is there any other towns that you'd like to never is mind? Is that the town motto? I don't know what happened there. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um home of the Altoona curve, by the way. And mm-hmm. um but yeah, oh that would be an entertaining podcast. That would be such an entertaining podcast. All right, we'll get them up on the list then. Uh, Alex Miller learned that uh, Mill has no feeling for Katrina, uh, which leads into what I learned, that the best thing in pro wrestling this week had nothing to do with wrestling. It was the first 12 minutes of Lucha Underground, which was so great. So great. Oh, you're going to talk about my fan fiction story. Uh, no, 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 no. 
Um, Sorg? I mean, somebody else's fan fiction. Okay, show. Uh, Sorg, you can get a Latino World Order tank top. What? On WWE Shop? On WWE Shop. Really? They have a Lat- You can get a Latino World Order tank top. I need to get that for the Lucha Show too. Sunday. Yes. Nasty yeah, you won't look out of place in that. Nope, not at all. Um, hmm. Uh, sorry. <laughs> no, but no, no, but yeah, uh, Lucha Underground had a uh, uh, the final falling out between Melissa Santos, the announcer for Lucha Underground, and Katrina, which led to a fight scene that lasted a while. I feel it was very They Live inspired, uh, which led to somebody falling from a, from a building in fantastic fashion uh the special effects have been great uh and 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 time travel literal time travel to bring somebody back from the dead it is the yep. best pro wrestling telenovela i have ever seen and you should be watching lucha underground bobby i have a channel bobby there's itunes, iTunes is a channel bobby bobby three bucks an episode you can you can manage that i you have to be able to or what or you're you, bobby Bobby. Watch Lucha. Watch Lucha. Bobby, refrain from buying like six pops and then yes, just buy Yes, just cut down on your, your pop figure intake. Never! And, and I thought then, you were talking about soda for a minute. I was like, that's kind of mean. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, we all should probably stop drinking soda too, just as a rule. But yeah. I you drink know. Canada dry. So you, don't in support, in, in, in support of Team Storm. By the way, in I also support. appreciate. I think it was Bradley that was watching the uh, the Team Storm interviews uh, from last week um, with his Canada Dry drink. So uh, I appreciate. Uh, that. And, and can I just say one last thing? I think Argos. You know how like if a shark stops swimming, it actually stops breathing and it'll die. That's if he stops talking. I think if Argos were to stop talking, he would like <laughs> like he he. It, he would die immediately. They cried on the show. Amazing. I know. Yeah. Wait, I, was, yeah. I was the one that caused him to cry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's not surprising. Yeah. Now it's your job to cause LaRusso to cry right now. Do it. Where's, that? Where's the mask? <laughs> no, that's just going to cause him to get violent. Violently ill. He's, ar- he's already violent towards Bobby. That's fair. Yeah. Oh, Bobby, I thought you were going to do something. All right. Your puppets yeah. are dead. I, I, I got the mask. Mm. Get the, do it. It, it fell. What's, uh, the, what's, the, what's, the na- what's the name of the, of the turtle? Smarky. Smarky. On the ground, Smarky. Okay. Smarky will be torn to uh, will be torn to shreds at a future I might upcoming. Bring Carlos I- to the next show. Who's Carlos? What? Who's Carlos? Carlos oh, is a dragon. <laughs> Hi, Chris. End the show. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. Shut it down. Remember, I told <laughs> you about the the emer- Remember, I told you about the emergency switch at Rise. No. <laughs> End show. <laughs> Just hit. Cut power. Cut transmission. Shut it down. Chris Larusso. Like, like, this is like an episode of Nitro from like the nine. Shut it down. <laughs> you know we what? Gotta- Chris LaRusso, thank you so much for joining us. Where can people find you online? Uh, At Chris LaRusso on Twitter, uh, Chris LaRusso on Facebook, uh, Chris LaRusso on Instagram, and um, uh, IWCWrestling.com. Show on fanfiction. What? (laughs) (laughs) Shut it down. Uh, hey, you're, you're one of us now. You're, Bobby, you're yeah, one of us. One <laughs> of us. One of us. One of us. We told you we've been handling you with kid gloves. <laughs> His headphones are off. You can say whatever you want now. <laughs> Chris was, he wasn't a co-host anymore. <laughs> oh, no. Bobby F. J-Town on all the social media. His last appearance here on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. At Bobby F. J-Town. Coming up. October 13th, we're back with Extra Life, but this time we're going to do it live at Sorgatron Media Studios. Oh, you should invite uh, Brohemoth to be part of that. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody who wants to come can come and, and play games with us and, and watch and have fun. Yep, we're going to do Bobby, it. It's going to be a party. I want to make it a party. Bobby, are you going to play Crush Hour? I may. I have a copy okay. of it. 
Mm-hmm. Yes. That needs to happen. Wait, you do? I do, actually, yeah. Yes. How have we played Chris? this yet, Summer? Because I haven't Castlevania. Because I have to figure out how to hook up old consoles to the to the streamer. Brock Lesnar has the twisty rockets. Yes, exactly. Uh, Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitter, and he also tweets from the Mayhem Show account for Lucha Underground. I do. I, I'm very excited to watch some Lucha tomorrow night. Um, so look for the hashtag MM at Mayhem Show. And the Riz, who will be joining us uh, the for the next Brohemoth Invitational. Yes, I'm so excited. We're gonna ha- we're gonna see if wrestlers can actually play some jackbox jackbox games i love you should just always do the show clutching your your hulk hogan wrestle buddy I remember at one point i had him on you, my you head. did a lot you did you wore him as a hat uh, for a while so i also want to point out that i'm probably going to do some streaming later on this week i have two new games that i just downloaded as we spoke here uh one's another world that's and why his connection is foul play uh, another Spider-Man? world and foul play yeah Sorry, I talked Another World is like a 20th anniversary version of is it, it. Is it is it based on the uh, Another World um, soap opera from NBC? Oh. <laughs> yeah. And he's gone. He's gone, ladies and gentlemen. We got a lot going up. Like I said, the Rohemoth Invitational will be Friday, <laughs> September 21st on the Indie Mayhem. I'm sorry, on the Indie Wrestling.us Twitch page. We have uh, guests coming up. Um, we have next week the Thrifty Podcast, and we have rescheduled Charlie Deach from Pittsburgh Current to join us on the show in the coming weeks. Sam Adonis will be joining us Wednesday night on the Indie Wrestling.us Facebook Live for Indie Mayhem Show, and we'll be talking about. Things that are going on with him, and uh, including he just came back from the UK. We'll talk about wrestling in uh, in Mexico with uh, CMLL and the Lucha Fiesta Pittsburgh happening right across the street from this studio that Chris Larusso will be a part of. You gonna be uh, you gonna be under a mask? No, you do no. come out with a mask. No, now. you know I I was thinking about that. I was wondering if I could make the whole match in a mask. I don't, I, I don't think I can make that happen. But uh, auto tighten helmet. We don't. Sh- we don't. We don't speak yeah. that name anymore. Thank you so much, every for joining, every, everybody for joining us, everybody in the chat room joining us all night. Thank you so much. Until next time, mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.